Hello, English 11 students. A um, few things I want to cover in this announcement besides just the assignment. Um, one, I've had quite a few questions about the Gatsby project. Um, I assigned the Gatsby project before the COVID-19 stuff happened. Um, so I planned on giving you guys class time to work on it, and I planned on helping you find supplies or get supplies if you needed to complete that project. Um, because of that, I am making the project extra credit. So if you did it, that's awesome. You're going to get a bunch of extra credit points. If you didn't do it, no worries. It's not going to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. I'm just making it extra credit. So if you see it in the grade book and you're worried, just keep in mind that the zero that you see in there is not going to hurt you in any way. Um, second thing I kind of want to cover is that I've had a lot of you emailing me about your essays, worried about turning them in late. Um, don't stress. If you haven't completed your essay, no worries. Keep working on it. I'm not counting you down for turning it in late. Um, if you are waiting for feedback on, on it and I have not gotten back to you, please email me and let me know that. Um, in the midst of doing this via email and online, I feel like I have missed somebody or someone. Um, Luis, I'm pretty sure you're one of the ones that I missed, so I'm going to be reading through your um, essay that you emailed me and get that back to you. But if I missed anybody else, please let me know. Um, if you sent me an essay to get feedback on and I did not give you feedback, please, please, please let me know that so I can do that for you. I don't want you to turn it in with no feedback if you wanted that. Um, third, uh, I've been told by administration that we are not having exams this year. So it's going to be extremely important that you do your very best on all of the assignments for e-learning. Um, I'm not trying to teach you anything new in these e-learning e assignments. I'm just trying to cover what you should have already been taught. But keep in mind that this is what we're doing to engage our brains and to keep our brains moving. So let's not get lazy. Um, I, I say that for myself as well. Um, if I were to sit here day in, day out, week after week um, during quarantine and not do any e-learning and not grade any of you guys' assignments, um, my brain isn't engaged either. So um, I want all of us to continue to work, work our brains so that next year we're ready to go um, for education, for a new job, for college, for whatever it is, uh, that our brains just hasn't sat around for months and months and months without being used. So... Um, if you need help with anything, though, please let me know. But I'm taking assignments until the very end of end of the year. So um, if there's anything I need to unlock, let me know. If there's anything you want to turn in, turn it in. If you have any questions, email me. Um, but that's kind of the gist for right now. So on to today. For today, we're switching gears just a little bit. You've been reading of Mice and Men, but I want you to put yourself in one of the people from the Dust Bowl era's shoes. So you're going to be acting as if you're an impoverished family member in the Dust Bowl era and you're trying to survive. So you've got a scenario that I've written for you um, or that I actually borrowed from someone else. I can't take credit for it. But I, there's a scenario. You're going to read that scenario and you're going to figure out how is your family going to use money for the week correctly and properly um, so that you can survive. Uh, and you have to think about this in terms of poverty in the Dust Bowl era. So now we have the luxury of bailouts and we have the luxury of stimulus payments. In the Dust Bowl era, the New Deal was the closest thing that we had to um, a bailout or a stimulus check. So um, if you were struggling and you were poor, you kind of just had to struggle. So I really, really, really want you to focus on the second part of this assignment um, and think about what your thought process was. So the first part is to actually add up, calculate, um, do some addition and decide how are you going to survive with the money that you have and with your needs of your family. And then the second part is to really reflect on those decisions that you made. That's really the most important part of this assignment is I want you to reflect on how did you make the decisions that you made? And then how would you feel if you were one of the kids or one of the parents and those were the decisions that you had to make? That's really the important part of this assignment. So I would spend more time reflecting and less time decision making. Um, but if that doesn't happen, it's okay. I just, I really want you to concentrate on the reflection piece. Think about what would it be like if I had to choose whether I'm going to buy my son new shoes or buy food. Um, what would it be like to be that kid if you've got a giant hole in your shoe and you've got to fix it with duct tape instead of getting a new pair? Um, 
what would that feel like? So that is your assignment for today. Again, as always, if you have questions, please email me. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, Take care, guys. Wash your hands. Get some exercise. Take care of yourselves.